So you've added in your first properties, your first units and rooms, and also the key uh, property information um, documents. What we now need to do is flesh out those properties and rooms a bit more, add some color and some light to them through photos, descriptions, and key information. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to start on property level, go to your main portfolio page and click through to the property in question. You'll then see on the right hand side here, a little white button that says edit property. By clicking that, a form will be opened uh, that we can now look to populate. So it recognizes from the information we added earlier that this property is in Cheltenham. We can give it a headline description. So lovely property. We then have a piece of AI that automatically populates uh, a description of that property based on the location you've given us. So we pull through key shops and leisure, um, transport, healthcare, et cetera. This is totally editable. So you can edit and add, uh, remove and change anything you wish from this um, area. We now have the option to add some photos. So pictures of the property and common areas. You just need to choose a file or drag it into this location here. Once you've done that, you can reorder those photos if you wish. Then select what sort of property type it is. This is a semi. Um, and then any amenities uh, that the whole property can benefit from. So we're going to say barbecue, clothesline, uh, bicycle store, parking, all the stuff that you need to inform uh, your incoming tenants about. Once you've done that, um, it recognizes from earlier that this is a professional property. Um, we haven't set any preference on gender. Uh, you can edit the age range. So we're going to say here mid 20s through till mid 40s. It's pre saved the terms of renting in terms of minimum and maximum. Bills are included, yes. And we'll simply here click update. So by doing that, that will save all of those details linked to that property. Again, really straightforward. So once you've done that, you'll now need to go into the property um, and the room, sorry, within that property. Uh, to do that, you just need to go back uh, to the room in question, uh, 37 Bath Parade. We've got one room, Fox One, that we added in a previous video. So we'll click onto that room and here we'll scroll down to the edit details button. Uh, right at the bottom of the page. So we'll click edit details. We can give a description of the room. So we don't pre-populate this because we, we aren't to know, uh, but of course uh, we can do that on property level. But here you just need to give a basic description of the room, uh, add any images in here. Again, once you've added those, you can uh, pre-order them um, and stack them as you feel appropriate. We've already added the rent, but again, you can change it at this stage. Um, no deposit, guarantor is always required. Uh, what sort of room is this? It's a single room. And what does that tenant benefit from? So there's a workspace, there's wide internet, we have drawers, there's a bed, we hope there's a bed. But you can add all those details in here. Um, and again, there's no um, sort of specific uh, gender preference. And once you've done that, you just hit save changes. And it's as simple as that. So you just need to repeat that process for each of your properties and each of your rooms. You can add as many photos as you would like. Uh, just do bear in mind that um, places like Spare Room limit you to about eight or 10 photos. So pick your best ones for that first uh, tranche of photos. But that is setting up property um, and room specific uh, details. I hope you enjoy.